Did you know you can edit individual audio tracks in Riverside? Or how about applying a graphical EQ to get the precise sound you want? You can also combine image, text, and even video overlays for complex transitions and visuals. In this video, I'm going to share 10 advanced editing techniques that are all available in the Riverside editor to take your podcast, talking head video, and more to the next level, including tools like AI video generation, all in Riverside. Here in my Riverside account, I'm going to jump into a recent recording. Here it was myself, two guests, lots of screen shares and other content, and let's go into the editor. Now the first tool I want to highlight is the graphical EQ. If you go up to the tracks tool here in the upper right, and then click one of the individuals, you'll have a volume slider, so you can adjust manual volume across all participants. Magic Audio is right underneath that, which removes background noise and makes any microphone sound studio quality. And here you'll see the EQ setting. You can enable EQ per track, and choose from one of our many defaults. So if someone sounded muffled, or maybe they had a deep voice and were a little too close to the mic, you can choose the muffle free setting. But if you want to go really advanced, you can actually adjust the EQ manually yourself. Just click the little settings icon here, that will open the graphical EQ. This will also show you what that preset changed about the EQ for this track, and you can go through the different presets and see how that EQ changes. Then you can adjust the EQ manually by adjusting the different circles here, which go along the frequencies at the bottom. And you can add up to five points and then drag that point around to the frequency, adjust the decibel level up or down. You can also adjust the width. So if you want to make those adjustments more sweeping across multiple frequencies, the higher the number, the sharper the cut or boost for that frequency. And then you can drag that around and see how this track sounds live in the Riverside editor. Now, since you're making changes to individual tracks, you can also go down here by the timeline and click the Expand Tracks tool. This is going to give you a visual representation of each audio track. And these waveforms are accurate to each person talking. Now, I'm going to go to a different person, namely one of our guests, Sarah. And you can see if I adjust her volume, those waveforms will actually update live here in the timeline. So I can raise her volume because her microphone was a little low. And if I need to lower my volume, you see those waveforms adjust as I'm dragging the volume slider here in the tracks tool. Now, if you wanted to make individual changes to the audio, maybe cut out a cough or some crosstalk, what I do here is go up to AI producer and then I apply smart mute. Smart mute is going to mute everyone's track when they're not speaking. And you'll see all those sections of all three tracks have now been hashed out, meaning these parts are muted. Well, now I'll zoom in on the timeline. And if there's something that I wanted to cut out, let's say this was a cough or something else, I can drag the in and out point around that portion. And now I've cut out the audio from that one track in that moment, but I didn't remove any of the audio from the other tracks. So as our guest Sarah is talking here, you'll still hear her talking, but you won't hear my audio. In the same way, I talked here a little early while Sarah was still talking. So I'm going to drag that in point and it's going to mute my track all the way up to the waveforms that start here. This allows me to make granular audio edits across all the tracks throughout the recording. You can also choose to collapse or expand the individual tracks by clicking the arrow next to the person's name here in the track viewer. And when these tracks are expanded, you can also choose to solo, meaning only listen to that one track to help you make those granular edits. And you can also mute an individual track. This way you can focus on all the others. But now I'm going to collapse the tracks. All those changes are still reflected here in my edit, and I can always jump back into it by expanding them. But I'm going to show you another AI tool you might not know about, which is our cut fluff feature. You know, if you have an interview guest or multiple people on a podcast, sometimes there might be some rabbit trails or topics that maybe don't pertain to the subject of this episode. Well, if I go up to the AI producer tool, you'll see find fluff right here under remove silences and filler words. When you apply find fluff, it's going to look through your recording and suggest moments to cut based on whether they were really applicable to the rest of your content. So you'll see here it found four moments of fluff to cut. It gives me a reason why it thinks this should be cut out. And all I have to do is click apply and it will delete that section from this edit. Now remember, this is all non-destructive, so I can always go back and start from scratch and my content is still there. Next, we have some incredible new layouts available here in the editor. When you roll your mouse over the video preview, you'll see tools below, especially layout, background, and design. Background and design have to do with your brand kit, but when you click our layout tool, you'll see many more options than you did previously. So since we have three speakers up right now, I can show the full 16 by nine aspect ratio for each person. I can also choose this kind of three person view where the active speaker is large and the other two are picture in picture. And when I click all, I can see all the multi-speaker layouts available including putting two in smaller circles, maybe two side by side in vertical windows and more. Also, when you choose a layout, like putting me and my co-host in the circles, 
you can then click over on the circle and you have more controls, like making these large, changing the shape from a circle to a squircle or a rounded corner square. You can change the position. Maybe you want these to be in the upper right. You can choose to crop, mirror the video, and you can change the layout every time you create a new scene. So let's say I'm previewing the video and I wanna change the layout right here. Well, I can click the new scene tool here in the bottom left corner and then go back to open my layout. Maybe I'll switch to the full 16 by nine once again. And now those layouts change as the scene changes down here in the timeline. Now, if I preview this, you'll see what goes from the picture in picture layout to the full 16 by nine framing right here. The new layouts feature is really helpful when you have screen shares as well. So here we have a screen share plus the three of us, but maybe I just want the active speaker in a circle over the screen share. Well, I can scroll down here in the layouts. I'll choose the sharing content Actually, maybe I like this vertical video. I'll click that, and now it's showing one person and the screen share, but it's not showing the right person who's speaking. So I can click on this video and just click on my name, and now I can choose from any of the other tracks, including the screen share, to put in this small picture-in-picture -picture window. And now we have Sarah speaking over the screen share in a new layout. Next, you can insert edits and recordings from your studio here in the editor. For instance, I recorded a sponsorship spot outside of our actual recording with our guest. And let's say I want to insert that right here in the timeline. Well, I'm going to put the playhead right where I want to insert it. And then I'm going to use the split tool right here. That's going to split the tracks. And now if I roll my mouse in between those sections, you'll see the add section option. When I click that plus icon, I have lots of things I can add. Other recordings, edits I've made, video I've uploaded from my computer or phone and even an empty section. And I'm gonna show you how to use that in a moment. I'm gonna go up to recordings because I had an entire recording just for the sponsorships. I called it my ads recording right here. It was about three minutes long. And I can just click that raw recording and it's gonna insert it right here in the editor alongside the edit I already had going. It even brings in the transcript so I can keep editing by text. Now I happen to know the ads don't need any editing. I just need to cut in the in and out point. So I'll click and drag the in point all the way to when I started talking right here. And same here for the ending. I'll just drag that out point right where it needs to be. And now I've inserted my ads from another recording right here in the editor. Next, you can easily copy paste and even duplicate content via the transcript here in the editor. This is perfect for creating those engaging intros and putting teasable moments right at the beginning of your episode. Now I know we had a whole conversation about domains and it was pretty funny, so I'm gonna pull one of those moments and bring it to the very beginning. I know this moment right here was funny, and so I'm gonna select this text in the transcript. Then in the menu that pops up, I'm gonna click the three dots and choose copy. If I choose cut, it will remove it from this portion of the episode, but I wanna keep it because this is part of the recording. So I'll click copy, go to the very beginning of the episode, and then click paste. It's right here in the menu for me, and that brings that portion, video and audio, all the way to the beginning. And now that section is right here at the top, brings the transcript, and of course the video and audio. You also see it reflected here in the timeline. This is the part I just copy and pasted. And you can do this anywhere in the transcript. Now it's gonna play that short clip, engaging moment to tease people, and then go into the intro I already had planned. Another great tool, if you wanted to create a vertical reel from that engaging moment, a great way to promote your episode on social media, you can do that easily as well. I'm gonna select that same section that we used at the intro, and then in that menu that pops up, I'm going to use the Create New Edit tool. What this does is takes that portion of the recording, creates a new edit, which will live in the edit section of our project, and I also have quick access to all my other edits. If I click this arrow at the top, here's my previous drafts and edits, and here's a 26 second clip we just created using that Create New Edit. Then I can jump directly to that short clip, and let's see how quickly I can format this. I'm gonna make it a vertical video just with one click here using the format tool. I'll click the captions and add those animated captions and, and they even match our brand because I have those saved. And now I already have a vertical clip ready to share for Reels and TikTok. If I wanna jump back to my full episode edit, I can click that arrow to expand it again and I'll jump back to the edit I was working on right here. Next, a recent feature is we added even more playback controls here in the editor. So as you're previewing your content, Obviously you can play and pause down here, but you can also change the playback speed. So if you're editing long content and you wanna be able to get through it faster, click the one X here next to the play controls, and then you can scroll down and go all the way up to two times speed. That will allow you to preview even faster and edit your content quickly. We also have skip forward and skip back buttons, five seconds, but you can do that quickly with a keyboard shortcut as well. Step back is J, step forward is L, 
And if you just want to press, and if you want to play and pause, you can just use the space bar. So if I click space bar, that's previewing now at 2x speed. But if I want to jump back five seconds, I'll just hit the letter J on my keyboard and I'm going back five seconds. Click the letter L and I'm going forward five seconds. Then I can hit the space bar again and I'm previewing at that 2x speed. Just those few keyboard shortcuts can help you get through content much faster. Next, you probably know we have text, image, and video overlays available here in the editor, but did you know you can combine all three? For instance, let me go over to the videos tool here on the right. Here you can search for royalty-free footage, use it however you'd like. I'm gonna search for a laptop typing. This is gonna be kind of the background image. I'll choose this 10 second clip right here. I can quickly fill the frame with this video by clicking these arrows, adjust the volume by clicking the speaker. And now we have some video B-roll on top of our edit, but I can overlay image and text on top of the B-roll. So let me go to my images here and I can search for royalty-free images, but maybe I uploaded something already. Well, I'm gonna click this image I uploaded and I can even crop it by dragging the pill icons on either side. I can mask it, so if I wanna give it some rounded corners or even make it a circle, I can do that. And I can even change the opacity, so I want it to be semi-transparent over the video, I can do that as well. Now that I've cropped it how I want, I'm gonna line it up vertically aligned here. So now I have an image overlay on top of my video. And you'll see here, the B-roll going behind the image. But I can still add another overlay, namely a text overlay. I'll click the text overlay tool here, I'm gonna go with a subtitle style. Maybe I want the text to say new iPhone. I'm gonna align it to the left, make the text even larger, and you can still adjust the size and placement by dragging the handles around this text overlay. But I also wanna change the style because on top of the video B-roll, it might be difficult to read. So I'm gonna go into the style here, choose background invert, and maybe I'll even change the color to blue in the background with white text. And I wanna animate this text in and out. So I'll have it fade in. I can choose the duration and fade out. Now, if I preview this, you'll see the video B-roll with an image overlay and a text overlay that animates in all at the same time. And you can even overlay multiple images and text layers right here in the Riverside editor. And you can drag them around and change the length just by clicking here in the timeline. Now, a newer tool you have here in the editor is our AI generated video tool. So when you go to the video overlay here in the right-hand toolbar, you can choose to generate videos right here or even create generated video from still images. When I click generate videos, I can give it a prompt to make a video of anything I want. I actually generated several videos here. I asked it to generate a phone taking a picture of a mountain. And you can see here it's fully animated with motion and that allows me to create any B-roll I need. Also, any videos that you've generated will live under the recently uploaded section. Here's another video I generated of an F1 car and I can use that however I'd like. You can also choose to upload a still image and have Riverside animated for you. That example was these pair of headphones, which all I had was a still image. So I uploaded it, asked it to animate that image, and now I have a little bit of motion on this photo, making it more visually engaging. I did a whole video on these AI generation tools. I'll link it above and down in the description if you want an in-depth tutorial on how to use it. Finally, I've had lots of questions about creating a transition where there's background music throughout a transition from no video to the start of a podcast, maybe even adding an intro video. And I'm gonna show you how to do that right now. So let's go back to the beginning of the timeline. You remember we copy and pasted this other section of the recording at the beginning. Well, I wanna transition between this and the full episode. So to do that, I'm gonna put my mouse between the sections like we did before to insert another recording. And when I click that plus icon, I'm gonna choose empty section. When I add an empty section, typically it will be blank or use the background image you had in your brand toolkit. Remember the brand toolkit is here and you can have all of these set for your brand and just apply it with a click. Well, now that I have this empty section, let me add some music that's gonna go from that first clip that's like a teaser to this empty section and then into the full episode. For that, I can click add music down here in the timeline. That'll open up the music library. Again, these are royalty free. You can use however you'd like, but I've actually uploaded a custom podcast intro, which you can do as well using this upload tool here. And I'm gonna add that podcast intro down here in the timeline. And as you can see, that audio is now spanning across that teased clip that I copy and pasted, this empty section that I'm about to customize, and the full length episode. So that audio is gonna help transition between those sections. Well, then what do I wanna do with this blank section? Well, you can use all the overlay tools we have available and create a little intro title card. I'm gonna go to my uploads because I've added lots of images, all the episodes that I've edited. I'll choose this picture right here. I'll drag this over 
And then maybe I want to add a title for this episode. Well, I'll do a text overlay. I'll choose the title size here, and then you can title it however you'd like. Maybe this is episode 84 and we have our title of the show. Remember, I could do the animated in and out for text overlays. So that could be our title card for the episode. And now let me preview it. Now it'll go from that first clip to our title card with our episode name and number, and then back to the full episode quickly. And our background music was playing the entire time. You can see it overlaid down here, making that smooth transition between sections. So those are 10 advanced editing techniques you can use right now in Riverside. Now, if you've never used Riverside before, it's completely free to record, edit, and even export your content with more features on our standard and pro plan. But you can try for free right now using that top link in the description. Also, get subscribed to the channel right here and hit that like button because we have lots of resources on gear, how to podcast, and even monetize all for free right here on the channel. And if you're looking to start a podcast, we produced an hour-long podcast course right here on the channel completely for free that has everything you need to know from planning, choosing your topic, recording, editing, publishing, promoting, and monetizing. You can watch that course right here. And if you're looking to upgrade your setup, maybe different budget levels, and you want to have some options, I did a video on that right up here. Thanks for watching. We can't wait to see what you create.